interested in psychology, so I decided to go with the topic of social influence to kind of look at how other people might influence us. Um, so the first book I read was Emma by Jane Austen, which is basically about these two friends, Emma and Harriet. Harriet is in love with someone in a younger social class, or a lower social class than her, and Emma doesn't like that because she's a firm believer in maintaining her social status. So what she does is she persuades um, Harriet to completely forget about the guy in a lower social class and to try to find someone in her own social class. So this is really similar to the next book I read, which is Persuasion, also by Jane Austen, where a girl named Anne is persuaded, like Harriet, by her friends and family to completely forget about someone she likes in a lower social class and to, in order to keep her from being judged by others. Um, so these books are really similar. They are a little bit different um, because Harriet is younger and she kind of, she looks up to Emma and so she kind of, like, Emma ends up teaching her to actually believe in maintaining social status and that it's important. However, in Persuasion, then, um, then Anne is like, she chooses to, um, she chooses to um, change her opinion. Um, so this is a graph that shows how you might have one opinion and after spending a lot of time with someone else, um, then your opinion starts to change and it can match. So according to psychologist Art Markman, in an article he wrote, who you spend time with, you kind of start to become like them. So, for example, if you have friends that work out a lot, then you might work a lot, work out a lot as well. Um, so this can be applied with like feelings and emotions as well. So, like in a TED talk by Nicholas Christicus, um, he uses this chart which shows like um, so all of these dots represent people. The yellow, the yellow is are generally happy people. Blue are sad, and green is in between. So as you notice, there are a lot of clusters of the same emotion. Um, there's not like a single person with the same emotion, but it kind of affects the people around them. So this is kind of interesting because it kind of shows how we're all connected and we all affect each other. Like if there's a happy person, chances are they're going to spread happiness to other people as well. Um, so basically, what I learned from this is that we learn to be who we are based on everyone that we have dealt with in our entire life. We kind of reflect, like, like, like our friends and family who we spend time with, we're basically a reflection of them. So in that sense, we are kind of like, um, you know, we're kind of like a chameleon, because um, chameleons, like, they kind of take the colors around them and they kind of change that color. We are kind of the same way with our beliefs and opinions and personalities. Um, we kind of reflect everyone that we have dealt with in our 